And uh, yeah, so we're moving to game three here on God's Garden of all maps. I haven't seen a game on God's Garden in so long. Yeah, this so, map was uh, a map that okay, I only Tech know. Okay, spawns is the purple Protoss in the bottom left, and uh, Probe 1 is the teal Zerg in the bottom right. So, Looks like Probe I'm going to be uh, curious. Uh, Tech 27 fixed up his uh, splitting as well. I feel no. like this is, this is the kid who discovers, like, uh, secret, uh, I don't know, pantry with all the cookie jars and all the, I don't know, jam. <laughs> It's like, this race, you know what? This race is really good. And it suits I, me I was so thinking well. something else. I was thinking it's like the moment when Mr. Miyagi is talking to Daniel and he's like, but I'm in a fight, what am I to do? And he says, wax off, and he says to block a punch. It's like all the effort he's put into not getting supply box until now. It's like, but I've, I've just, I'm so used to building supply depots. It's like, what if you had to build supply depots? If you wanted to build buildings, and all of a sudden all of his talents line up, he's got it perfectly set. He was built for this, he just didn't know it. What movie is that? The Karate Kid. I see, I've never seen it. What is wrong with you? Were you alive in the 1990s? Yeah, no, I mean, I... Okay, no, I'll just... I'll, I can clarify that. No, I haven't seen it, I just didn't watch it. Does that make sense? No. I was no. present when it was screened. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Were you playing Brood War at the time? No. Alrighties. <laughs> so let's move on. Um, no, no, I'm enjoying the dead air. <laughs> put, I'm putting a DNR on this guy. <laughs> do, do, do. Alrighties. So basically, once again, overpool for uh, for Pro One. Change the subject. <laughs> <sighs> and um, are we going to see another two gate? <laughs> yes. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, it, no, it works. Why the fuck not do it again? 100%. I agree I'm with this. I'm curious. Decision. Like the probe one is expanding again, but it's so much earlier this time. So he should be like, able to get uh, a sunken up, assuming he actually scouts. Which well, he had the drone in place to get the sunken up early in the last game, but then he just didn't. He hasn't scouted yet, though, like at all. He is making one set of Zerglings, so he should, he should be able to find out that he needs to build a sunken or two, and he should be okay. We'll have to see when the gas goes down for uh, Tech 27 here, whether he wants to try and tech off this, or whether he's actually going to go more sort of all in with the Zealots. And, um... Oh, he takes the probe early, that's alright. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sort of curious, like, the... Zealots are already in production. He's nowhere near supply blocking himself. <laughs> um, Probe One has two Zerglings in the way, but the truth is that at this stage, I can't imagine he he would be in better shape if he kept them at home. Like I don't think, well, certainly scouting it didn't seem to help at all last time. Yeah, so but I mean, his but he home. knows now. Like you can't use the same trick twice. Like it just doesn't work like that. Like oh well, he's scared of the Zealots now. He knows exactly where he is. He knows exactly what he's doing. I expect. If he I like, he should have sunken out as soon as possible. Yeah, there should be a pro a drone on the way to the natural to build one, and there it is. Yeah. So I mean, if he gets, I think, two sunkens up, he'll be a hundred percent okay here. And Tech Twenty Seven is going to have to tech, and we just we don't know how familiar he is with you know the rest of the Protoss arsenal because I mean, he obviously had so much fun with the Zealots. Maybe he just hasn't realized that there's other stuff. We don't need it. It's interesting how uh, defensive he's being as well. Like, he's just building up his Zealots this time instead of moving out. And I'm not quite sure that's the right decision. He's going down in Probe's Natural, so he's... It looks like a third going down as well. Yeah, a third yeah. something goes down. He'll be 100% fine. So Probe knows fine. how to deal with it. And so many Zerglings as well. So I suppose, like, the, on the plus side, there's all the Zealots right now. I was going to say, if he doesn't move out, he's forced so many Sunkins. But now what's going to happen is he'll get there, face four Sunkins and Whoa. Zerglings. Um, that's completely if he overkill. Just, if he just expands, then he's ahead. Like, I mean... But the worst bit is... He's just gonna like he can just comfortably do a zealot, a zealot walk by and go up the ramp and uh, he can do a better. Like that I side don't. Ramp is open. Zealots are kind of slow. Right? I think have, it's... I feel like most of them would die in the way through. But really? I mean, I did say that Tech Twenty Seven has big like balls. Three, he's no, he's just going straight up. Yeah, it's perfect. He's got two in the base. There are how many? Three in the base. 
four of the mouth three. But he can just take the... He's microing the, work, the weekends out of the way. There's only three Zerglings left. Like, this is fantastic. And uh, Probon really needs to pull his drones here. Well, no, he's pulling them, but just bring them to Well, to yeah, no, I meant like to attack with the Zerglings, but all the Zerglings oh, yeah. are dead now, so... Well, there's four more attached now. So. He did, he left one as a present, though. I mean, that's nice. It's a nice, a nice yeah. thought, you know, like, when you come into a Zerg base... He's gonna sacrifice He sacrificed, yeah, he sacrificed a drone to the Protoss gods. And now that they're, they're, they're appeased, or whatever. It looks like, uh... He's spending some of his gases on getting plus one attack and finally getting a cybernetic score, but uh, Zerglings come in. Might be able to deal with some of these zealots. Oh no, he clicked on one nope. zealot and the zealot just walked around and then. He loses his pool and he'll almost certainly lose his hatch as well. But he started a lair, so I mean he's fine, right? The, there Wait. was a period where the lair in the natural seemed really common, if only because it gets the extra hit points, I think. But... Uh, uh, no. If he'd been a little bit more on the ball there, I think he might have been able to take those Zerglings out, and then he literally could have killed the main. Like, there would be nothing that uh, Probe 1 could have done about it, but... But, he was merciful. I'm pretty sure that was on purpose as well. But, I mean, he's done so much damage here. I mean... There's no way that he can be attacked, and... The smart move would be to just expand now, because he knows... And it looks like could... he's gonna do it, he's gonna expand it to back natural, which is the safe, protective one. And I'm not 100% sure that Pro 1 realizes that there's a nice protected natural here. But, you know, I mean, I guess he'll find out eventually. Oh, he's got a drone on the way to it now. Oh, fantastic. And there it is. Perfect. But for, for Pro 1 at this point, at this point, what he needs is more hatches. He just needs to produce drones. Like, he has the income, he's got enough drones in his natural, but not to run two bases on. He's not actually mining gas yes. either. Wait, no, he's well, mining he gas for his main, sorry, but not his natural. Yeah. I'm just starting as a pool again. The question is, now that he's got the layer up, is he going to aspire? And yeah, aspire drops. Perfect. And uh, looks like T27 is going to transition into 38 Goon Zealot with plus one. And this is a really strong build. Actually, I do this myself, like on usually on two bases. Um, but and he's got Goon range on the way up already, which is the big mistake to make if you're going Goons. No, it's not a big mistake at all. It's just, this, this is a hundred percent correct play. No, I mean, you, if if you neglect Goon range, oh, okay. you're in trouble. I thought you were trying to say that getting goon range was, was bad, and I was like... Yeah, it, it costs money, I mean, why would you bother you could get an extra goon for that? And the thing is, like, say, Probe 1, like, looks like his, his answer here is to, well, I've got Sunkens up, I'm gonna make some Mutalists, and then, you know, harass, right? But, I mean, if you get a good number of goons, but unfortunately he's only made, like, two goons, but so let's just say he decided to make more goons. Well, do you think it already charged, charged goons outrange Sunkens? No, they don't. But no, I didn't think so. The, the the zealots can buffer, and you can sort of focus down the sunkens with the with the yeah. goons. And the the mutilists, I mean, they can harass, but if you just attack, they can't really engage head on if there's enough goons. But and unfortunately, he doesn't sunkens. have enough goons. Like he only has like three. But then again, we all know how Pro One deals with. He has and two he supply. Also, he has he two supply. Has a, way too much though. So. He might just steamroll these the Sunkens uh, with plus one solids. Yeah, if he had gotten the the Mutalisk out earlier, but now they're, the Mutalisk haven't hatched yet. He's got four, I think? Yeah, four. And He's got plus one. This might just Mutalisk. be enough. Well, this should be more than enough. But there's only one Goon. Um, that's the issue, because when the, the Mutalisk are about to pop, and three Mutalisks kill one Goon, I think he could still snipe the lair without too much difficulty. Yeah, three meter list don't do a lot of DPS. Exactly, but you're just not chipping away fast enough. Oh, he's pulling away. He's leaving the lair alone. That's handy. I feel like he should split his zealots up. He is? Oh no, he did for a moment, but I'm not sure if it was a fluke. And Spy is definitely going to go down. Probably get the pull as well if he wanted to. Um, looks like he's going to go for drones instead though. That, that's fair enough. I mean, the the real threat that it was for him in this upcoming game was the Mutalist, and now there's only six, and like that's it for the whole game. Well, you know, seven Mutalists, I think. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, seven Mutas in total. Yeah, seven. And um, at the same time, what does he have to defend against? He has four cannons. Oh, there's cannons in the way. Yeah, no, this is. Um, a fair few cannons, uh, looks like. They kind of, he's building them like he built his turrets, which is sort of haphazardly in random locations, instead of focused around 
significant areas, which means they can be, you know, uh, you know, like taken out without, you know, uh, the other cannons contributing. Oh god, throw one of five directly into the cannons. Oh god. Yeah, that's unpleasant. So this is the Mutalist donation hey. drive. Two Mutalists have been donated so far. Uh, maybe um, they'll have like a telephone later on. Oh no, he's got a lot of telephone, I think. I always forget that um, goons do half as much damage as cannons. And, and he's uh, able to attack the cannon out here as well, why not? Because this cannon is a huge threat and really important. It is! Right? So now it's there's. The uh, it's operation. There's four Mutalists left, and. Yeah. See, he is transferring his drones now, like finally from his natural down to his kind of third. But he is rebuilding the spire as well, so I mean, he hasn't given up on this uh, spy attack, but. The problem is that he's rebuilt the spire having given him enough time to counter it, which is a little bit more questionable. And. Tech Goons... 27 seems to be content with staying just in one base. Yeah. It's weird, yeah, because yeah, he, like, he's had that probe there to be, like, ready to expand. For ages. But he had to have sniped at the third. Or at the, that, like, that little back natural, sorry. That, that was sniped a while back, he had to replace it. I feel oh like Tech 27 can just walk to Probon's base and win. Like, is that. He's on his way now. With the I'm really glad he switched boost. to Protoss as well. Although, Probe is switching to Mass Hydra. Someone, someone against saying the, that the, the games aren't particularly interesting. We do have a liquid drone against Intrigue coming up, but that's going to be a really good match. Uh, yeah, that's that uh, the final series we're casting. Uh, I mean, in these kind of invite series, you know, not everyone's going to be the same skill level. Um, yeah, and you get no, games that are like this, but these guys are really quite evenly matched. And I think that this push here is actually going to end the game. Yeah, it's so it seems. Uh, Tech 27 is kind of picked away, and uh, I mean. Actually, there's a few Hydras out. It's gonna have a really good Dragoon control. The, the He's drone really micro, or, yeah, excellent. That one wounded Dragoon for back at 19 life was so close to death. And, and the Mutalus flying in and dying, belly. That's the end of the donation drive. That's There's nothing <laughs> more to donate. <laughs> you, just, you gave all the bad codes away. So you guys want to call like 1-800-DONATE-MUTALISK to, uh, to pledge to the drive? and you have to pay a certain amount for every Mutalist that Probe 1 donates. <laughs> the problem is that with just goons, I'm surprised he can just go for more Zerglings. Oh, he has some Zerglings coming out, but like, with stage. With ranged goons against Slowlings, you can actually just micro them and uh, be actually fairly cost efficient. It's it's only a shame he didn't bother getting Zerglings piece. <laughs> yeah, and before his, uh, uh, his uh, spawning pool got sniped spawning by Slow really Zealots. Yeah. Slow Zealot run by. Unfortunate. Probe 1 really sticking it out though. I mean, I have I to think give he's that still to him. two bases. He's still a base ahead. That, oh no, he, there is a uh, Nexus coming up now. And he's getting Burrow. Well, that's going to be completely useful, right? Burrow's wonderful. You leave them alone. Because he can burrow these Zerglings, and then maybe if he really I'm prays just... hard and changes games, they'll turn into Lurkers. I mean, uh, Banelings or whatever. And he'll be like, yes! But I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm not gonna. You're always so negative. He's been saving so much money. He's got a macro hatch coming up as well. Like he knows he's gonna be in trouble production-wise. <laughs> and he's he's flanking uh... the the goons. Yeah. He's got the weak one down already. Fair enough. Nice nice yeah. targeting there by uh, Pro One. Has a lot of drones. I feel like these guys should be fighting. Yeah, they really should be. Like, I feel like, a as a Probe 1 drone, you have, like, a weird job, because you get let... Like, the he lets you die, like, a lot, right? But at the same time, you don't actually have to fight. I mean, it's like, it's a cushy job, but it's like a high-risk one. He also have loads of bros as well. He loves drones. Like, he has so many drones, it's great. And, uh, yeah, so that's... I'm so sad he's out. I'm so sad both of them are out. That's, like, that's depressing. So yeah, well actually we don't know that yet, because we still have to see uh, Tech 27 against uh